the IFC has entered into a cost-sharing agreement with Transnet to attract private investments to an important sector in South Africa's economy. This agreement will support a feasibility study into the development of a liquefied natural gas import terminal at Richards Bay and will help facilitate private sector investment into the terminal. IFC is bringing its experience developing LNG terminals in emerging markets, whereas to date uh, globally we have uh, supported, developed and financed eight LNG terminals around the world already. The LNG terminal in South Africa will be co-developed by a private investor that will own a majority stake in the terminal. The terminal is expected to be operational by 2024 and we are working with Transnet to inform the market of the, in a transparent and public process for the selection of the private investor and operator. The expected expansion of the natural gas supply to South Africa will help the country diversify its energy mix, transition to a less carbon intensive economy and increase reliable access to affordable natural, natural gas for end consumers. We believe that our move, an early move in the provision of midstream infrastructure for the logistics solution part for the distribution, the, 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 the bringing in, sourcing, bringing in and distributing natural gas is a major catalyst for the use of gas and mainly for industrial usage. So you'll get a big theme of where a lot of conversations historically in the last number of years was around gas and gas to power. You'll see our emphasis is complementary to that. But the work that we've done in the last while is that industrial usage of gas um, can be significantly accelerated if the midstream infrastructure is put in place. We are excited to have an organization like the IFC on board with their global experience in terms of midstream infrastructure solutions for natural gas. Because, truth to be said, neither Transnet nor the rest of the players in South Africa um, have the deep expertise and skills that you require for a major shift like this. So to have them on board um, in, at such an early stage to help shape our solution is critical. Then the IFC will tell you, but you, you will also know in terms of a broader conversation from our shareholder and government, is that a key part of our strategy is to enhance the participation of the private sector. What we are planning to do involves significant participation of the private sector in a well-governed, well-managed and transparent way. In terms of the, the, the process of uh, selecting partners, we are um, quite clear that it needs to be a fair, competitive um, and transparent um, um, uh, process that ensures that everyone has equal opportunity to get involved. We will partner with private sector um, and in this regard private sector would uh, take a majority shareholder with SOCs taking a significant minority stake. The equity shareholders that we expect Transnet will certainly participate in there with other SOCs uh, as well as private partners that have the appropriate technical um, and financial strength uh, to see us through and we will of course take into account uh, the local transformation um, requirements i.e. have uh, be participants in, in, in the project. We're in a stage of completing the uh, investment case and only once that investment case is concluded and approved and we have the required regulatory authority to proceed then we'll be able to uh, prepare the uh, request for proposals. <laughs>